Beneath the sunny skies of Florida, a dark twist of events unfolded, shaking the community to its core. In the heart of the Sunshine State, in the quaint town of Bardo, a story of unimaginable horror began to unravel. The main character in this macabre tale is a woman named Cheyenne Jessie, a 31-year-old mother. But this is not your typical story of motherhood. It's a narrative stained with the chilling hue of murder. Cheyenne's victims were not strangers, nor were they adversaries. They were her own flesh and blood, her six-year-old daughter, an innocent child who had barely begun to taste the sweetness of life, and her father, a man presumably looking forward to the golden years of his life. The nature of their demise was not a quick and painless one. It was a brutal and heinous act, a chilling spectacle of violence that you'd expect to find in the darkest corners of a horror movie, not in the confines of a family home. The details of the crime are as gruesome as they are heartbreaking. Cheyenne didn't just murder her father and daughter, she butchered them. The father was stabbed and shot multiple times, while the little girl suffered a fatal stab wound and a gunshot to the head. The brutal nature of the crime, the merciless violence, paints a horrifying picture of a mother's love gone terribly wrong. The community was left in a state of shock. A mother is supposed to protect her children, not harm them. A daughter is supposed to respect her father, not murder him. But in this twisted tale, the roles were reversed, and the sanctity of family was shattered beyond repair. As we delve deeper into this grim narrative, we'll uncover the reasons behind Cheyenne's actions, the motive that drove her to commit such a monstrous act. We'll take a look at the trial that followed, the sentence she received, and the aftermath of this horrifying tragedy. A mother's love turned lethal, a family destroyed from within. This is the dark tale of Cheyenne Jesse, a story that serves as a stark reminder that sometimes the most terrifying monsters are the ones hiding in plain sight. The facade of a perfect family began to crumble as the authorities delved deeper into the case. In the sweltering summer of 2015, the peaceful town of Bartow, Florida was shattered by a horrifying discovery. The bodies of a six-year-old girl and her grandfather were found, marking the beginning of an investigation that would unravel a chilling tale. Cheyenne Jesse, the mother of the slain child and daughter of the deceased man, was the one who led authorities to the bodies hidden away in a nearby shed. This wasn't a random act of violence, nor a break-in gone horribly wrong. This was something far darker, far more intimate. Initially, Jesse claimed self-defense, stating that she had killed her father during a heated altercation that had escalated far beyond control. But what about the child? An innocent caught in the crossfire, she claimed, a tragic accident that had occurred amidst the chaos. Yet, as investigators dug deeper, inconsistencies began to emerge. The forensic evidence didn't quite line up with Jesse's account. There were too many stab wounds, too many bullet holes. And the child, why was she also a victim of such brutal violence? As the days turned into weeks, the authorities started piecing together a narrative that was far removed from the story Jesse had initially spun. It became increasingly clear that this wasn't a case of self-defense and an unfortunate accident. This was premeditated murder, cold and calculated. The mask of innocence began to slip, revealing a chilling reality. Behind the bloodshed, a sinister motive lurked, adding another layer of horror to the tale. As investigators pieced together the jigsaw of this gruesome event, a chilling motivation began to emerge. Cheyenne Jesse, the Florida mother who brutally murdered her six-year-old daughter and her own father, was not driven by self-defense as she initially claimed. No, the truth was far more sinister. The evidence suggested that Jesse's actions were fueled by a desperate desire to please her boyfriend. This wasn't a case of a woman protecting herself in a moment of danger. This was a calculated act of violence, a sacrifice made for the sake of a romantic relationship. Jesse confessed to the murders, shedding light on the disturbing mindset that led to this tragic event. She spoke of her daughter's behavioral issues and her own mental health struggles. Yet, these explanations didn't fully explain the depth of her actions. There was a haunting undertone to her confession, 
hinting at an unsettling dynamic with her boyfriend. In a twisted attempt to deflect blame, Jesse pointed the finger at her boyfriend. She claimed he was the real culprit, the puppet master pulling the strings behind the scenes. But the evidence didn't support her claims. It was Jesse who was found guilty. Jesse who was handed a life sentence without the possibility of parole. The motive behind these horrifying murders is a grim reminder of the length some will go to for love or the illusion of it. This wasn't a crime of passion or a moment of madness. This was a premeditated act of violence, born from a twisted desire for approval, a twisted love story where innocence was sacrificed for approval. Justice sought to be served, the trial of Cheyenne Jesse was a spectacle of its own. This was a trial that had the world watching, the courtroom echoing with evidence and testimonies that painted a chilling picture of a mother's unthinkable act. The prosecution presented a damning case against Cheyenne Jesse. Here was a woman who brutally murdered her six-year-old daughter and her own father. The evidence was stark. A physical altercation, an accidental stabbing, and a desperate attempt to pin the blame elsewhere. Witnesses took to the stand, their testimonies weaving a narrative of horror and disbelief. The defense tried to argue self-defense, that Cheyenne had killed her father during a physical altercation, and her daughter's death was an accident. But the evidence suggested otherwise. The prosecution argued that Cheyenne had killed her daughter to please her boyfriend, a motive so shocking it left the courtroom in stunned silence. As the trial unfolded, the defense tried to paint a picture of a troubled woman, grappling with her daughter's behavioral issues and her own mental health struggles. But the prosecution remained unswayed, presenting evidence of premeditation and malice. The jury deliberated, weighing the evidence and testimonies. The decision was swift, guilty on two counts of first-degree murder. The room held its breath as the verdict was announced. A life sentence for the murder of her father, the death penalty recommended for her daughter's murder. But the trial wasn't over. The penalty phase was yet to come. The final ruling from the judge awaited. The defense expressed satisfaction with the sentence while the prosecution believed it warranted the death penalty. A verdict delivered, but was justice truly served? The question hung in the air a grim reminder of the horrific events that had unfolded. The trial of Cheyenne Jesse was a spectacle, a chilling tale of a mother's unthinkable act, a courtroom drama that will be remembered for years to come. The gavel fell, sealing the fate of a mother turned murderer. Cheyenne Jesse, a woman once known as a mother and daughter, now forever branded as a cold-blooded killer. The court, after a thorough deliberation, delivered its sentence life in prison without the possibility of parole. This was the price Jessie had to pay for the heinous murders of her own flesh and blood, her father and her six-year-old daughter. The reactions in the courtroom were a mix of relief and dissatisfaction. Jessie's attorneys, though they fought hard for their client, expressed a sense of satisfaction with the sentence. Perhaps they saw it as a small victory, a dodged bullet, after all, the jury had initially recommended the death penalty for the murder of the young girl. But the final decision rested in the hands of the judge, who opted for life imprisonment. The prosecutors, however, held a different view. They believed that the gravity of the crimes committed by Jesse warranted the ultimate punishment, the death penalty. The gruesome details of the murders, the chilling motive, and the lack of remorse shown by Jesse, they argued, justified their stance. However, the final ruling was life behind bars. The sentence marked the end of a harrowing trial that shook the community of Bartow, Florida. It served as a stark reminder of the fragility of human life and the depths to which one can sink when consumed by selfish desires and twisted love. A life behind bars, a fitting end to a chilling tale of family, love, and betrayal. The story of Cheyenne Jesse serves as a grim reminder of the darkness that can lurk in the most unexpected places, even within the confines of a family home. It's a tale that will continue to haunt the halls of justice and the hearts of those who followed the case, forever etched in the annals of true crime.